So how many of you have ever been away from home and come back to find a disaster like a flooded room, flooded garage? Wouldn't it be nice if you had some type of notification? So today on Rick's Gadgets, I want to show you one of my water sensors, flood sensors that I use on my system. So what we have here is the Everspring flood detector. Um, it comes with the sensor itself and a couple of brackets to hold the wire. I'm showing a picture here of just the stuff that's in the box. It runs on three AA batteries. The battery life, I've had this for oh, probably about 10, 11 months and I'm just now replacing the batteries in them. So once a year is probably what you're gonna look at. But um, it's very simple. It adds to the HomeSeer Z-Wave setup just like any other Z-Wave sensor to put it in pair mode, put the batteries in, and it should recognize. This device is good with other Z-Wave like SmartThings. Um, it's really advertised for with the SmartThings hub, so it's just not exclusive to HomeSeer, but any other type of Z-Wave network. So you may be wondering, yeah, this is great to get the alerts and let you know that there's something going on in your house, but you can take this one step further. And I'm gonna show you here is there is a Z-Wave uh, water uh, cutoff valve. And I believe if you pair these two together, you've got a pretty robust system because now, when there's, as soon as there's a leak, it can shut the water off in the house and that minimizes your damage. So I see this as really a good tool to put in your, your home automation system and just give you that added protection and help you out from any expensive water damage bills down the road. So now I'm gonna show you basically how the uh, sensor works. So this is the unit. It's just got one single light on the front that will show you a red indicator when it has been triggered. And on the back, it's got a door that you can screw on so it's tamper resistant. And this slides off so you can mount this and just slide it off and on when you need to change the batteries. And then the battery compartment here with a tamper resistant um, switch. Um, it comes with a pretty long cable. The cable is about nine feet long and on the end is the sensor. And Basically, you put this down like I have this mounted just to where it's almost touching the floor or touching the floor if it's non-magnetic or uh, non-metal because um, my pan under the my uh, hot water heater is metal so I have to keep it just a little bit off so what I did was I just put a piece of paper down and I slide this down till it touches the paper and then slide the paper out and everything works good. Um, but when it's triggered, um, I got a little cap full of water here and you can watch the light when it. And I'm showing up here on the home seer screen how it goes off on the and does a trigger. And what I've done with uh, the home seer application is once I get that trigger, I email myself and it will um, alert me on my phone. And you can have it turn on a light, turn a light red, you know, on these new newer lights. There's a lot of things you can do with this, and it's, it's pretty handy. I've got this one. Um, I'm going to get one more for the uh, um, refrigerator and another one for the wash machine, and that should have all the areas covered within my house. Uh, so that way I'm protected all the way around because I have come home to a line on my um, refrigerator that had busted and a half an inch of water all through my hardwood floors. So it's a really good investment. Uh, I would highly recommend them uh, because it is a lot cheaper than having to, to fix water damage. And if you have any questions on this, uh, let me know. And I appreciate you stopping by Rick's Gadgets today. I look forward to you coming back and checking out my future videos. Thanks and have a great day.